What up, what up, what up? How we doing? Doing Samara's mission, I believe. <clears throat> what do you need? Sorry, fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. <laughs> that one guy is saying one night with Arya. That's all I would need. It's funny. seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please. <laughs> By the way, it was my daughter who killed yours. We my bad. <laughs> I'll examine her things. Now 
Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, <laughs> changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Just when we dance, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. She can sell my pieces. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Maureen's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. One hell of a thing to say about your own father. <laughs> always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape <coughs> plans. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. The end is nigh. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeruk. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you? It's okay to defend yourself. Look at them veins filling them out. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden. Can you come back and talk to her? I've never actually done that. Sharing it with. Do you remember everything? Shepherd, we own again. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. <coughs> I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some credits for you. You're an interesting one. Oh, uh, hi. 
You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? What kind of help? My friend Moy Rawl is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floyd. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florit's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. Need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Red hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Hank off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? I want you gone from here. <coughs> hey, we got pay for you. We work for Hank. You hear that? So, what do you think this thing up? How about I give you enough creds for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets hurt. Works for me. Let's go. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. The standards must be low. You're here. It's pathetic when humans try to talk. <laughs> Bartender, give me another drink. Jean de la Marque. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend money. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. This loyalty mission's always been interesting to me because there's like no combat or anything. It's just... What do you think of the music here? It's just Stark rhythms, all pulses, talking. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel Tent. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halix? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? I love finding and opening new sectors of space. Discovering another ball of gas with bits of cold dead rock around it? Each new system holds a chance to meet new cultures, learn a new way to see the universe. Breathtaking. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. 
Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby. Easy peasy. Gather. Gift from a suitor. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. I was into dueling for a while. Have a Halix if I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's <clears> true. <throat> We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Mission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. <laughs> Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. to my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want surprise motherfucker but you who are you oh no I see what's going on the bitch herself found a little helper <laughs> Marin <laughs> Mother, what retro? Do not call me that. <laughs> I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice. You know, ago. I've done one playthrough where I picked Morin, and I actually think it's kind of interesting how she pretends to be Samara, but then you can talk to her yourself, and she is Morin. And someone mentions maybe it's. ED or someone that like oh Samara's being kind of weird oh no it's um oh Kasumi I think yep yeah so that's why people say that um Billie Eilish is technically uh Ardayashi or could be I guess I don't know what, what's implied here. Does she crush her head? <laughs> That's my guess. It's pretty jacked up. I am ready to leave this place and go on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Let's go. Yep, I think so. That's been my guess for a while. I think they'll do an EA play either as part of E3 or like near it. I think people need to realize we may see, because E3 is one week and then the Summer Game Fest is the, is the next. So I think there's a pretty good chance we see some stuff in the middle. <clears throat> so I think that's when we'll get the release date for Dreadwolf, a big like reveal of Dreadwolf, and then maybe a little Mass Effect, like a little wink, just a little wink. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the... Okay, time for the... Next mission. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your terminal. 
Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Yeah, Nintendo not being there doesn't really matter. The big three not being there doesn't matter at all. I think e I think EA will be there, else or they'll do like their e their their EA Play, like as at least like tacitly attached to it. Um, I mean, we know Konami and Ubisoft are at E3 now, which it's a big deal. Think what you will of Ubisoft, but. I mean, they're probably the second biggest independent publisher, maybe third. It's probably Activision Blizzard until they get acquired. And then EA, it's got, they've got to be close. I don't think like um, 2K and they, I guess they're pretty big too. I don't know. We'll see. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. What's her alternate? Yeah. Let's see, here's some news. Alarms rang through the Solarian system of Antolin yesterday when an alien ship bearing a strong AI signature triggers fear of a Geth attack. Renko Turwin, director of near orbital security, explained when evidence of a, a powerful AI heuristics were detected on board, our security forces thought it was the vanguard of a Geth invasion. However, we consulted Corey and scientific advisors who assured us that the signals failed to match any known death signature. According to Turwin, the biggest surprise came next. The ship's intelligence then communicated with us. It asked us to calculate the value of pi to the first quadrillion digits. Some 20 questions followed after that, all of them, be all of them beyond our realm of expertise. We're currently awaiting advice from outside consultants before proceeding. As yet, the ship matches no known alien species. The virtual aliens, hell yeah. That they would be an interesting um, species to see in the next game if they are basically allowed to allow their individuals to inhabit like um, synthetic bodies, but it would be their I guess like a copy, I don't know, but it would be like one of the individual's sentience. Yeah, that's a, it's a cool story. Mars, controversy brews tonight. A scientist on Mars assess the contents of a newly opened chamber in Prothean ruins. The opening has been a dream of exo-archeologists for decades. Delayed by the many steps necessary to replicate the protein code keys and crack the cryptology for entry. Critics say the Milky Way Foundation, which provides supercomputers for crypto analysis, could hoard any protein discoveries. Dr. Unara Talam, liaison for the Citadel Committee on Paleontology, says she keeps, uh, she's been kept in the dark. Foundation personnel have orchestrated a security system that keeps out any uh, everyone except select cabal she accuses anything could be taken from inside and we'd never know dr ilsa warren who heads the analysis unit dismisses the allegation we've made it clear that all technology stays exactly where it was found for the entire cataloging and analysis process that could take years dr tom's fears will be more appropriate closer to the end of the decade A dangerous new bug called the WeC ripped through several thousand public extranet terminals last night and potentially infested millions of private connections. The bug targeted simul stem watchers, randomly cutting into programs or static feedback that causes headaches and even seizures to some viewers. Asked what people could do to protect themselves, the Synthetic Insights senior programmer, uh, Niartonless Entente, 
said simple buy and register an accredited VI monitored antivirus program and keep it updated. I don't understand why people won't spend 50 credits to shield themselves when plugging stimuli directly into their brains. That's funny. Well, Cage, how are you? Sorry, I've really been enjoying those um, those extra net stories. Those have been uh, very fun. Hey, who did she say wants to talk? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Tara seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. Did you all see that? Um, the oh, has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. The uh, the Mako statue. I'll go on pre-order next month. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing, with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Yeah. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. Then I'm gonna help my baby! Shepard, I mentioned when we met on Ilium that I was I was looking up, uh, I was looking at Starfield tweets and that Mr. Maddie Plays guy had a tweet that literally said, this week is a do or die situation for Starfield. It's like, bro, get a new line. I watched a few of his videos and I, and I realized that it's all, um, it's all like concern pandering stuff. Like I'm worried this game is gonna get delayed. I'm worried that this game is not gonna be very good. I'm worried that they won't blah, blah, blah. I'm worried, I'm worried. It's a do or die situation. They're in a dire situation. It's like, God, man. Is that what you called me here for? I wasn't worried about it. No, but as I face the end of my body's time here, I find myself dwelling on my mistakes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm glad they they send that stuff out. It's just, I really want a name Shep or Garrus or, or uh, Liara. And so every time they send one, I'm like, ah. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I... It's like, just him. let me have my bros. I left. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life. Measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... I, I always like, and I don't know if you can see it on the stream, but with um, the Legendary Edition, you can see that his eyes aren't just black. Where his coal yet They're, they have like the little studio. things in them. I don't know where exactly. Yeah. He traveled there and has contacted the criminal level. Well, what was funny is I saw the tweet first and then read who the person was. I was like, ah, God. They can't canonize that. They would have to do both. They could do that pretty easily. That's like a big thing I've been trying to like think about is what things would be relatively easy to allow a choice to be there and what things would be really, really hard. Like I think the ending would be really, really hard. I think the genophage would be really, really hard. I think that even the rachni could be tough, but then like relationships, sex, a lot of the smaller choices I think would be fairly easy. I think they, even if doing the gender was hard, they would still have to figure it out because 
that's the, that's like one of the there's only a couple things they can't canonize i think and um and i'll get us to the citadel as soon as possible it's like you, i think gender relationship i'd say those are the two big things that you can't canonize the relationship i mean they could but i don't think they would so the thing I found out about that retro is that it's literally a text file. It's it's a text file in the in the files of the game that you can open with Word or with a uh, uh, notepad. So as assuming that three has a file like that, which I'm sure it does, because I mean it's obvious. Like if you look at a bunch of the stuff, they thought about what Mass Effect 4 would like that it would happen it's just obviously things didn't happen the way they you know they they, they got scared of it or whatever um though I think I think it's way more likely that they would do like a website or something where you could make all your detailed choices in the website and then use that to transfer to your game um I believe that's what do they have that with it's a Dragon Age, I think, mm -hmm. has a system like that. Is there anyone else? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Someone uh, responded. I forget who it was, but one of the things that someone said in uh, in one of my videos that about the canonize canonizing an ending, they're like, I just want to know what the canon ending is, so I can do a trilogy playthrough that matches up with it. I'm like, oh, that's kind of brilliant. Like before the game comes out, if they tell everyone, okay, this is, these are the canon choices we are going to set in stone. Obviously some people are going to be upset, but then it would be an opportunity to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to do a playthrough and mirror those canon choices so I can have like a, a true playthrough. Actually, I honestly think it's kind of cool. Be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Yeah, it is. It's um, it's still a pretty well-known dev, uh, the Divinity or something. Whoever made that, um, I saw Holton make that video, and then I've seen some other reporting on that game. It's like, man, turn-based games are just not my style at all. But it looks really good. And the one thing I saw, I think it was Holton's video, pointed out like the conversation system and the animations of all of the characters are like so good and one thing he pointed out that was that i did i noticed as well it's not just their faces animate well they're like body language animates really well so i i might check it out they make great camera joy that's the big thing and i've even said that to my for myself cage um, one of the videos I have on the docket to make is my worst case scenario, Mass Effect 4, where I'll describe a game that they would make that would go against everything I want. But a big part of that video is I want to then explain that if it's done right, I'll still enjoy it. Like, I obviously have my preferences for how they'll, they'll handle the next game. But if they make it really good, regardless, I'll still enjoy it. Larian Studios, Divine Divinity, yep. So, I, I've everything I've seen about it has been very complimentary. Oh yeah. See, it's once you start to get these upgrades, you actually start to feel sort of powerful. You watch Mandalorian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it a lot. <clears throat> Who, what, Retro? I already forget what I was saying. Oh, <laughs> yeah.
I was dead set against the idea of Luke Sky. Yeah, no, I thought it was really cool. I know there's mixed opinions on that, but I enjoy it. He's still good. base mission I don't know what DLC I'm gonna do I really wish that I even looked for a mod I was kind of hoping that you could um, Shepherd, we got in uh, the over call from a Torian patrol over whatever ship beyond the coral system um, were wiped out but not I can't think of it the collector vessel I need you to board that ship. I wish you could just skip to the final part of the mission because I hate doing all the side stuff. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish. I hope next to me has at least two expansions. Maybe have our own apartment. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting how much they let the Citadel DLC and how much people love it affect how they do some of that stuff. My big thing is I just want at least a couple hubs. Whenever I play Mass Effect 3, I, I always like remember how much I missed having hubs outside of the Citadel. Like I missed having Ilium, I missed having Tatunka, I missed having, uh, uh, oh, stupid. Wow, oh, I can't think of that right now. <clears throat> Yeah, same cage. It's a little feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Andromeda tried to cash in that, um, that Citadel feel. Um, yeah, but without earning it. That, that's a good way to put it, I think. Faux show. Because, like, I've even seen people be like, well, in Andromeda, that, that movie mission is fun. And, like, it's fine. But, like, it is, it, it was, like, trying to, like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of a cheap attempt to, um, to do the, um, we have a visual on the, collector ship. the Citadel DLC thing. Temperature but without us having that offline. same connection to the characters to the point of like borderline disliking some of the characters oh oh no the poor ship just hanging out I detect no mass effect field distortions it appears the drive core is offline yeah, that's actually something I expect to see. I wouldn't be surprised if some other studios do Mass Effect universe games, and they should. Think about how fun it would be to have like a Command and Conquer style game with like the Tur. You could do like the Turians versus the Alliance, uh, the Krogan versus the Rachni, the Salarians versus the Geth. Or the Corians versus the Geth, like so many cool. I I also love real time strategy games. Like tonight, it's the a part of the reason I already did the podcast and I'm streaming right now is because tonight I want to play Company of Heroes three. I haven't got to play much of it yet, and I I want to. Yeah, this is weird. I love what they've done. Shep isn't wearing. His helmet, even though that's what I have equipped. I mean, this mask thing, it looks really cool, but I don't know why he's wearing that. It's weird. I don't know why he's not wearing the full mask, the full helmet, but it's fine. 
but no i would freaking love that retro i'm like i i really i played I, yeah i don't like atomic heart man i can see where some people would like the gameplay but i don't like first person um melee games like i i didn't like uh i had like no interest in um the collectors use these um like Dying Light 2, um, even like Dead Island 2, um, like Dishonored and stuff. I just don't really care for first person like melee games. Even like Mirror's Edge, I, I don't really have any affinity for personally. Who's mask? Well, the only reason, like, I think that mask, like the aesthetic, the design looks cool. Um, and having like Garrus wear his mask and his helmet, but my problem with the human, and I think Liara, I think the um, Solarian, Asari, and human mask, they don't like cover their eyes, and like your eyes can't be exposed to the vacuum of space. <laughs> like, there are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right. But it doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> We're clear for the moment. I just don't get why Tally's wearing her mask. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, funny. So it is kind of funny. I've seen other people point out that it's like I'm uploading the data from this term. They can basically explain away anything that doesn't make sense by being like Mass Effect fields. Mass Effect fields fix everything. <laughs> Throwing up her helmet. <laughs> yeah, I imagine because doesn't she mention at some point that her like I guess like whatever her version of Pooh and Pee gets just like handled by her suit. Whatever the hell that means. Expand the media. I think, it, I mean, looking at Dragon Age is probably a pretty good indicator. I think we'll get like a, a show or cartoon, like an anime or something, and probably comics, maybe a book. Um, I would say that's almost guaranteed. They, it would be interesting if they did like a little mini game and, and you could and that's how they would allow you to pick your the choices we are allowed to pick maybe they'd have like a, like an app or like a web app or something and it'd be like a little mini game it could be kind of interesting that that'd, it, that'd be more interesting than literally just having us like go through and pick um i don't know is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge these are only preliminary experiments but they reveal something remarkable you know, there's a really nice office chair that has a hundred dollars off right now. It makes it less than two hundred bucks. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. It's one hundred and twenty-four dollars off. I just saw some of the reviews say the the butt cushion doesn't hold up very long. My God, the Protheans didn't vanish. In an interactive comic, yeah, uh, that would be, yeah, because you can't really do anything that doesn't take place outside the game, I guess. Because it would suck for people who get Mass Effect 4 and like didn't do the app or something first. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now. <laughs> we have to stop. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Modify your ship's layout engines. Um, I'll tell you what, the, um, uh, I don't actually want this. 
I don't know, this gun is pretty dope though. Because the ammo is like unlimited. Maybe we'll run with that. I'll be a big old chunky boy. Nice work. Um Can I give it to Garrus? I can't. Um, Starfield. The way that you can custom, it looks like you'll be able to customize your ships on Starfield like really heavily. I am 1000% making a Normandy on there. And um, I almost started playing No Man's Sky again just so I could do the mission to have a Normandy, but I ended up not being able to finish it. But it would be interesting if we could do a little bit of customization. At least even just like kind of the way you can customize like the apartment in the Citadel DLC. Just like even smaller stuff like that would be cool. On a hunch I asked EA to run an analysis on the ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond cool. I would take some cosmetic changes. Watch your back. Ugh. They could take every human in the terminus systems and still not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. There, on the platform, looks like some kind of control panel. And where are the bodies of the collector crew? Edie, I'm setting up a bridge. One of the responses to my most recent video was, uh, people talking about the next Mass Effect is more tired than you are recording this video. Everyone's exercising their brain more than you do or something like that. I was like, come on, man. I get I'm a little chubby, but I've been like really I've been like sick for like the last two weeks. So leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying. Pre-production and make jigsaw pieces and full development put them together. Major power search. Everything went dark, but we're back up. Yes, that community post is insane. I haven't even gone all the way through it like really detailed because it was just like too much. It was a lot of information. Um so so by the end of pre-production, they have parts of the game done. The, they'll have at least one vertical slice, uh, like one small part of the game that is completely finished, voice acting, animation, textures, like it's done. And then they'll have the rest of the game basically figured out, like what they want it to be. And then that's when they bring in all of the other people to finish that vision, basically. Hate these things.
Monster dead. Oh, she fell down between the ships. <laughs> Not good. Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link to the command console. <laughs> yeah, maybe not monthly at first, but I've it's control. yeah. I can't wait to get Mass Effect updates. I knew you wouldn't let us down. It's really why I've been trying to lay this like foundation of Mass Effect coverage of making videos, doing podcasts, so that when we start getting actual information, I can become a source that people trust because there's some kind of established, you know, record. In Canada Post last week. Oh no. It, hopefully it's just a delay. I've heard some of that stuff can be really, really frustrating. Because terrain emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote that mm -hmm. it was a trap. Why would he send us a mm -hmm. trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. We should have known this would happen. Cerberus can't be trusted. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. Tally's so sassy. I love it. You need to get out of there before their weapons I've, I've accepted that if Tally's not in the next game, I'm still gonna romance the hell out of a quarry and what up? Shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. What did you order, Caged? Around the corner, take the you best be using someone's code. It doesn't have to be mine. Make sure you use someone's code. Get your discount. The singing warden, um, like the warden statue, or something else. I love my warden statue. I really like Morden. He's like low key one of my favorite characters. He's one of my favorite ones. Who, um, like, I really wish they would have been a crewmate in, in three. That didn't work out for you, did it, Harbinger? Harbinger of Doom, more like Harbinger of Noob. Odd. Oh, no. Oh no. Yeah. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure it was in my giveaway. I gave away the helmet I gave away. And I think the Morden statue was, was that $10 one. That's awesome. Good. That code's been great. I'm actually, I've, I've got a hundred dollar gift card right now. I'm just sitting on, and I was gonna wait until um, something came out for me to use it on, but instead, I think I'm gonna buy some stuff and do another giveaway. 
This time I'm not gonna do the damn. I, I. People always complain if you use the gleam giveaway stuff. So this time I used um, just Twitter and I had that like really good giveaway and like no one entered into it. It was so bad. I, I think you technically can, but I think you risk getting kicked out of the network if you use your own. So I don't. So you can't use codes on pre-orders, but um, each ambassador has a link that gives them credit for your pre-order purchase, but it doesn't come with a discount. It doesn't cost you anything, but like I have a discount code I can make, but I also have a link. If you click on that link and go to, and you, you use that to go to the website to buy to pre-order, I do get credit for that or whoever uses uh, whoever's code to use. Yeah, that may go so I'm definitely gonna do it. Oh, there you go. Nice. From the VIP program. I may actually, um, hold on a second. I think that's the last fight. Oh no, it's not.
I almost thought about getting the watch. <laughs> I want to buy that um, that neon N7, but I couldn't use credit to pre-order it, so I'm just waiting for it to actually go on sale and hoping that it's not sold out, so I can buy it straight up. That's like that code. If you use that code, it would give me credit, even if it's a pre-order. So if there's another creator you would want to do that for as well, just ask them and they can look in their um, their ambassador app. That's the thing, it's so small. I was like, for sure gonna get it. But then I looked at the price and then I looked on like Etsy and there's people who make legit like an actual because i think that one's like just leds and like plastic there's people for like i think it was like 150 bucks on etsy who make like actual neon signs um and they're bigger she also discovered that the turian distress signal originated from the collectors so it's like way you thought it was i could just pay another 50 bucks and, and get like a legit one you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You have one job, information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful with the collectors and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identifier yep. friend foe Yeah, that's what I'm curious about that Mako. I'm afraid that thing's gonna be like 200 bucks. I hope it's about 100 and then I'll be good. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict Reaper. We found it damaged and trapped. Am I the only, is it fair to still say that the whole 50,000 year cycle, and I think people have kind of pointed out that every cycle may not be 50,000 years. It may be different. It just doesn't seem long enough. I feel like the cycle should have been like hundreds of thousands of years. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Chandana. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I... It's like when they talk about the Prothean ruins in Mass Effect 1 being covered by the... The... Um... Forward. all of the rock and stuff like that would have taken like millions of years of course, but the protheans are supposedly alive you know 50,000 years earlier i just i don't know i th there's 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 a few things that and maybe i'm alone in this didn't sell us out but if they want to retcon some stuff like time frame wise in the next game to kind of fix stuff he tries something like I'd be that cool with that. <laughs> will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? 
My analysis is accurate. Shepard. Yeah, Long it's like too soon. Like things have happened too quickly, it seems. Data from their vessel. But when they were making the first game, they, they, you know, probably weren't really thinking it was going to become what it became, you know? That can't be right. <laughs> Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction space station protected by powerful mass effect fields. I also hate that the Even the, the collector base is just a giant collector ship. I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> no wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass. <laughs> The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict reaper. No one cares what you say, Jacob. We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Yep, this is when it all starts to feel, you start to feel a lot more powerful at this point in the game. Let's see. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. Yeah. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. I probably will too. If a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my I just I always go through with this little thing because it's just so cheesy. Welcome. I don't know. I think it's cute. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? <clears throat> I have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Commander. You've received a new message at your private terminal. I know. You just told me. You're too small. Okay, breakthrough with the AI ship. Cool. A breakthrough today in the case of the mysterious ghost ship in the Antolin system. Famed exobiologist Jordan Detweiler from MIT's Extraterrestrial Studies Group traveled to the ship, now held in quarantine. Detweiler engaged the ship's AI system, which has been piloting, piloting the craft for an undetermined number of years and appears to be the sole sentient life form on board. Given previous failed communication attempts, Detweiler explained how he succeeded. In rudimentary terms, it was an IQ test. The ship's AI was determining that we weren't some band of dullard space pirates, that we understood things like quantum string theory, emergent systems, and a host of other advanced concepts. I was able to satisfy its demands and gain access to the interior. I need to do more analysis, but I think this is the exo-archaeological find of the century. I will say the ship appears to be at least 8,000 years old. So cool. I was assuming this. Yeah. See, the astronomical team that launched the TR-15 Lettuce Probe is being blasted by a scientific community for falsifying its results about the neutron star Turex. The data they were posting was too good to be true, said Dr. Arana Temeles, 
who reviewed their work, when they claimed to have sent the probe through the relay leading to Turex, we all wondered how and why the Protheans could have built a corresponding relay so close to an energetic star. Then came the question of isolating the probe signals from the radiation, claims of unprecedented dark energy control. I would go so far as to use the word hoax. Uh, let us team lead Dr. Akil Karini apologize for what he called sloppy record keeping, but insisted his findings were authentic. The galactic community has but scratched the surface of all the functions of the mass relays. My team will continue to solve their mysteries. Interesting. <clears throat> Let's... Um... Yeah. The biggest issue they'll have with that kind of stuff is that, especially in the extended cut or whatever, is the relatively detailed aftermath stories they told. Um, but they still leave a lot of room. Um, and at the end of the day, Bioware can do whatever the hell they want, you know? <laughs> like. If they want to just completely retcon some stuff, they will be more than welcome to. Again, it's kind of the whole mantra of, as long as it's good, I don't really care. Eighty. Launching probe. I mean, we know what we have to do first, right? I want to do her mission and then do Jacob's, and then I'll probably be done for today. Um, I want to do Jacob's mission because I have the mod that, um, gives all of the the people on that planet the mass effect one uniforms and mass effect one guns like that don't have clips um i just think that sounds really cool what's my fanciest outfit <laughs> Go on there like that. <laughs> yeah, that's I've seen people say that. I've always kind of thought of it as like an AI construct of Shepard, not really actually Shepard. That's why I think it's like doomed to not work out. Um, well, it wouldn't make sense for for him to have Alliance stuff. I don't think he would want to wear Cerberus stuff, especially after he just got betrayed. This outfit just seems so like posh. <laughs> yeah, we'll go casual. Um, let's see who makes the most sense to take. Let's take, let's take Morton. Actually, I've never taken him before, I don't think. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what, <clears throat> again, like I've kind of had a, um, I just, I'm just not sold. Like, I think someone responded to this too in, in my video of, 
you know, they can even make like a statement of like all of the endings matter and blah, blah, blah. But we're deciding to go forward with this one ending because it serves the story the best. Um, because I just like, I just don't think people realize how insanely difficult it could be to make a game that takes all three of the major endings into account without dulling it down so much that it's more disrespectful than if they just pick one ending. But that's been like an endless conversation. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home. Is it her? We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not yeah. clean. Understood. <laughs> Approach exterior docking cradle 17. <clears throat> oh, I guess it didn't matter what clothes I picked because he's probably gonna be in his armor with the face mask. Yep. I love the Solarian mask. It looks so cool. It makes no sense, but it looks cool. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Telly helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help, Tally. The trial requires <laughs> yeah. to be officially neutral, but... <laughs> yeah. Voss <Ross> Deference. <laughs> Still one of the funnier jokes in this whole series. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tally Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally... You're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such If Tali Zora can't even get a court to stop the example. Hello, Shalaran. <laughs> what up, girl? That voice, though. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron, <laughs> Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The sure. Board moved to have you try it could be. That's what I've seen people say that the the next game, its biggest challenge will be I guess finding a new big bad. But I don't think there needs to be a big bad. I think they can very easily have like multiple smaller bads. Maybe leading to the next big bad or something. <clears throat> You would actually speak for my defense. Oh, really? I've never done that. Maybe I'll try. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. <coughs> I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. No, the, the virtual aliens, the Raloi, a bunch of those species that we like know about but have never experienced, I think are almost essential that we see them in the next game. Yeah, same. This conclave is Especially if there's a good chance of expansions. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. 
The accused Talia Zorovas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against a charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. You wrecked, Chorus. Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. Yeah, I do. Simple... Yeah, I think it comes maybe September, October. Expect me to stay silent. I'm very, very confident in that. Now, if they don't announce a release date by EA Play, like June, then maybe it does go to 2024. But I bet it comes out this year. Tally would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleaded not guilty. <clears throat> I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so, but I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai, your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals, but right now our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship, so far without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you Bostet! You intend to reach Like, Bostet is such a good word. Because in any language, you know... With your permission, Admiral, it's yes. very mean. <laughs> it is not a good statement. ...to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been cleared. I, I think that's the general take of it yeah I know Rieger was like like Rieger should have been a I think Rieger should have been a squad mate that you could either like if Tally died you get Rieger instead in three I don't know we won't know anything until we get there how are you holding up they just threw a lot of fire at you even before telling you about your father I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have left. If anyone can retake the Alarai, Talizora can. Let's go rickety wreck. Well to the Even during the hearing, Talizora's first thought. Talizora Vasnima. Oh, 
Uh, sorry, I mean Vast Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. For Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vast Normandy. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. But yeah, that was definitely the least ceremonial ending that Rieger could have. Very frustrating. <laughs> right. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. It always cracks me if she, she calls that a storage unit, where it's clearly one of those drones. It's so weird. I got this on Haystrom. <clears throat> oh, okay. Weird. Is that salvage gear? No, you I, I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse that I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. This might be useful. Didn't wake up on the band people today. I mean, maybe her dad. I don't see how she could be. You also can't commit war crimes on inanimate objects. <laughs> Just saying. I'll go there again today. Don't don't tempt me. <laughs> Performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Sarah did with the Geth. 
any reason. I hope the Geth have feelings so they felt tortured while they were testing weapons on them. Do you think testing weapons? Oh, whoops. Not that. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. <clears throat> Could any of that data clear your mind? <clears throat> Doubtful. This is mostly result data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. Look, after the Geth wiped out millions of children and non-combatants, no. anything's on the table. Specifically, but if do what you gotta do. Then father was doing something terrible. What was all this, father? You promised you'd build me a house on the home world. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. If your people feel that way, why haven't they prepared for war? Just like that? Can you imagine the complexities of taking your entire society into war? And too many people are afraid or comfortable or guilt-ridden over whether we were cruel to the Geth. So we've done nothing. At the very least, we can take back one ship. Come on. Sassy Tally. She's sassy. She's the one tattooed on his arm. species in this game believes in genocide so what makes them any worse than the rest the Solarians believe in it the Krogan believe in it the Turians believe in it the Batarians believe in it what up Varum So do the rest of them. <laughs> Some of the potential of me one remake using UE5 would be probably they would just have to basically remake remake it from start, which that's like the one downside to the legendary edition. Um is that since they put in honestly a pretty small amount of effort on the legendary edition in the grand scheme of things it would push out any um like remake of mass effect one like 20 like like 10 years or something but it would be really cool <clears throat> oh i don't want i don't want mass effect and snowdrop Unreal Engine 5. I'd rather see it in the Division, Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> but you have to keep in mind that UE5 will have the Gears of War cover system, which I prefer the Division one to it. Um, but it'll be good. It'll be better than Andromeda's, I hope. <laughs> I like Snowdrop too. I want to see what new stoats, what, what Snowdrop looks like now, though. Um, if if Ubisoft is really going to use, if if they're really going to use Snowdrop for everything, I'm curious to how flexible they're going to make it. But it is a cool engine. Version for Division Two is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Division 2 Snowdrop was really good. It was a huge upgrade over 1. But, I'm sorry. like, Division 2 is still based on that version of Snowdrop from 2016, probably. So, like, the Avatar game, the Star Wars game, we're really going to have to see how those look. Because um, they're supposed to have, like, DLSS and ray tracing and all that stuff. Driver remake. Well, it's 
I guess. I mean, it looked fine on my one on my Xbox One, but I think people just miss the snow too much. He knew you. Other watchdogs. Yeah. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you want. I just don't know if a driver game would really matter today. It's a big problem that these companies are coming up with is it's it's hard to make new IP because you have to you're taking a big chance. But then it's hard to do remakes of old IP because it may not be relevant anymore. That's why I like the remake of um, of Splinter Cell will probably do well because I think I think there's like a, a void in that style of uh, game. I'd be curious to see what kind of appetite there would be for a driver game these days. I'm going to save here just to be safe. The cage, you said it's um, the rally the crowd option. I've never done that before. The console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened. <clears throat> What father did. Play the recording. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board. I'll, um, I just, I feel pretty alienated with the Division community these days. I just... My daughter a house on the whole world. I'm not going to see you can also save just before the... Oh, can you? Okay. I just, um... I think people's standards are too low for that game. Like, I think anyone who wants a year five after how year four went, I don't know, man. I get it. It's just like eating crackers. Like, they're good, but man. <laughs> Sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Kila, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but... Yeah, it's pretty well established that her dad's an asshole. Up in the trial that <laughs> we can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room. She was exiled in my last playthrough. was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything. It really doesn't affect things that much. <laughs> You're my captain in this game. That's the biggest thing is... It's your decision. My only real gripe with a lot of the trilogy is that... A lot of the choices end up like they only really matter like on the surface, basically. Like her being exiled or not doesn't make that big of a difference. Of course, I think what well, in order to make peace between the Geth and Koreans, she can't be exiled. I know that's like obviously the big one. Be cool to see you do an episode of the podcast where you debate someone on the Korean Geth conflict. Yeah, but the problem is with doing something like that is that the person assuming I'm the one taking the Korean side, um, it's too easy for the person taking the Geth side to basically put, like paint me as a Nazi. <laughs> and while maybe that should be a clue to me that my argument isn't very good, I don't think that's the case. I think my argument is okay. Uh, it's fine. If I have to redo that last part of the mission, I'll, I'm not too, not too concerned. <clears throat> Sorry, we're late. Yeah, that's what I've wondered, Retro, because um, a lot of people have talked about, like, well, if, say, Destroy gets canonized and the Geth are all killed, 
then the upgrades that the Koreans got won't help them. But then the, there could be a thought of maybe the upgrades are separate from the Geth and their upgrades stay and they, and they do adjust quicker or whatever. I'll be curious. I, I really hope they are out of their suits in the next game, because what I'm really curious about is that they, let's see here. What do I need to pick here, Caged? Um, but it'd be curious to see what, how their suits would impact their clothing if they don't need to be covered. Like, I imagine they would still wear their hoods and they would still have all the patterns and stuff. Um, Okay, do the persuasion. Help me defeat Saren and the Geth of the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. But if you someone made a really cool fan art of um, of just like a random Korean that um, I, I saw on Twitter. It was one of the the male Korians, and they had like dreadlocks, and it doesn't really make sense for them to have any hair at all. You would think like an entire life in a suit would make your hair follicles like stop working. I have always thought of them having like dreadlock ish hair to match because of the cords in the in the um the the male Korean's suits. It's always just made me assume that that's what the hair looks like, even though there's no reason to assume that, you know. Are the admirals prepared to render the judgment? Talizora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Is there a reason I didn't get the option? Commander Shepard, <laughs> please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time Weird. to present one of our people. Is it because... Respect, Admiral. I don't know. I represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you Alpha Shepard. Yeah, I don't know, Cage. It's weird. <laughs> Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. I mean, I also, I, I really hope they make it. Like if they want to go with the peace option and maybe it's like the, like they can make it like, maybe it's the Koreans goal in massive in the next game to try to bring back the Geth for what they did to save them and, and during the Reaper war or something. Um, you can still go back in and get your exile. But it would be cool to see like Rannoch settled in them not wearing suits and just stuff like that. I think it'd be really neat. watching you shout. Oh, Hello, girl. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This is valuable. Morden just over there, like, oh boy, they're gonna bang, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that was weird, Cage. I don't know. I mean, my Paragon is really high. Maybe it was high enough, but I only needed that one, um, that one persuasion. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Oh, okay. That'll be all. That makes sense. What's her suit look like? Mm -hmm. I just kind of like her OG suit, man. You don't mess with perfection. Let's see. <clears throat> the scientific community is a buzz today after the latest report from MIT exobiologist Jordan Detweiler was filed last night from the Antolin system where he's currently investigating a mysterious ghost ship. 
Claiming a breakthrough, Detweiler writes, What I've discovered is nothing short of astonishing. This so-called derelict ship isn't derelict at all. It appears that an alien race has downloaded its consciousness to a massive array of quantum computers on board the vessel. It's my belief these aliens now reside entirely in a virtual world and have been there for at least 8,000 years. Detweiler estimates the population of the virtual world numbers close to 1 billion individuals. He explains, The ship's AI is something of a caretaker to these people, or even a god depending on how you look at it. More importantly, the AI is now requesting our help. It says power failure is imminent and it threatens an entire virtual civilization. That is so cool. Man, what if they use the virtual aliens to bring back the Geth? <laughs> True. Oh, yeah. Well, if the Reapers found this ship or whatever. Systems Alliance Prime Minister Amu Shastri made a diplomatic visit to the Solarian, col um, Solarian co colony of Manavoy, Manove today, where he met Dalatrust Nara, leader of the planet's ruling bloodline. Their meeting took place in Batu. The first day of Solarian New Year, originally marketing the end of the winter in the southern hemisphere of the Solarian homeworld, Sirkesh. But two is traditionally a time of repaying debts and petitioning favors, and today was no exception. The two spoke about Earth superconductor supplies, Sirkesh's soil enriching burn grass, and the inflation of the galactic credit. Shastri gave Nara an Arabian horse with implant reins and genetic material cloned from. Magnolia, one of the one of George Washington's steeds. In return, Nara, knowing Shasti's love for flying, presented them with a classic Tess Auburn twenty one sixty six sky car with the Graskin upholstery. So cool. <clears throat> yeah, I, I hope that they drop it in the sense of like it can be like an underlying theme, I think. But hopefully with the lessons of Mass Effect 3 learned, right? So it's like they still have the conversation of synthetic versus organic, but instead of the notion of it being like that they're bound to turn, instead it be we can try to work together. And, and it can be like, it can still be a discussion, but maybe in a different um, context. Gotta go romance my baby. Kila, I'm sorry I didn't join the quarry in politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve, but my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing I actually really like that quote. Cab. I should get back to work, but thanks for checking on me. And... Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to go ah, to the Maybe later? I have to do another mission or two. Talk to you later. Oh yeah, what's okay. So this is that thing for the random suicide mission where it makes it more it, it's less it won't just follow that exact formula that everyone knows. And so obviously the person who I've romanced or am romancing, so I assume that means that she has a really low chance of dying. <clears throat> Who else is? See, I've done her mission. Maybe I haven't talked to her enough. I'll have to check that. I don't think I've done his mission yet. Yeah, the, the suicide mission, doing this. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, and I've done her loyalty mission. I've talked to her a lot. So I'll have to make sure I try to talk to everyone who I want to save, especially. Oh, weird. It has Liara there. 
Ugh, awkward. Awkward. All right, I was going to try to do Jacob's mission, but it's going to take a little too long, I think. Um, so I'm going to save and um, start to wrap things up here. Um, actually. 50,000. I was wondering if the, that mail adds, uh, I guess it probably doesn't. Um, um, I, I, sh I should be on in the morning um, to do another stream and we'll knock out hopefully, you know, four or five, maybe most of the loyalty missions would be my goal. Um, and then let's see, let me look at the missions I have left. <clears throat> so I'll try to do, I plan on doing all of the loyalties. I'll do some of the side missions. I'll definitely do Arrival. I'm probably not gonna do Overlord. Probably won't do Firewalker. I'll, I sh I'll probably do um, Shadow Broker. I really like that DLC. But I'll probably do it. Can you do it after the suicide mission? Maybe I'll do it then. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, okay. Well... That's what I'm going to call it for this one. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it and arguing with me and making me feel like a war criminal might be kind of deserved. I have some overly extreme thoughts about the Geth. <laughs> so, um, but like I said, I should be on tomorrow um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So have a nice Friday night. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. And uh, if I don't, Hope you have a nice weekend. So, see ya.